So good morning, dear guests and friends. I'm happy to welcome you again at our, our Berlin home of the Bosch Foundation. And I very much hope that you had a good night's sleep. Even so, the themes we are talking about, have been talking about yesterday and will be talking about today are not at all relaxing. And I'm sure that Nick Oing and Wolfgang Ischinger will take care uh, that this sense of urgency uh, will stay at the top of the agenda. But for me, right now, as a greeting, I'm, I want to strike another chord. And I'm reminded what Tom Catena yesterday said, what he's doing between 6.30 and 7.30 in the morning. Uh, he's engaging in his spiritual orientation. He is contemplating. And this is the basis for being able to do that hard work that he is doing. And even so, our hard work here is uh, not as hard as what you are doing in the Nuba Mountains. It's still good if we start by contemplating about what's really important here. And what I want to look at is uh, that fear may be a good trigger for action to start, but it's not a good motivator. Fear freezes people and doesn't bring them to act from their heart. It's more like fear is what makes people shy away from engaging fully. Therefore, I think it's really important to be open about the difficulties we are facing, but it's equally important to see what can support us in taking action. So I want to look at what Aurora di Dialogues can be, because we are in an Aurora Dialogue. And Aurora is clear. It's the sunrise, the Morgenröte. And that's no doubt a symbol of hope, a symbol of hope everywhere on this planet, I believe. So we are talking about hope, and we're having a dialogue about hope. But hope for whom and hope for what? The subtitle of the Aurora Prize is For Awakening Humanity. So awakening is clear. Awakening that is Aurora herself, the rising sun, the light, the hope, love. But what's humanity? And if you look it up in the dictionary, it has a striking double meaning. It means mankind and kindness. This was surprising to me when I real, realized that these both words, which seem so different, are really this, both, uh, we mean both when we say humanity. And I find this actually a striking and beautiful reason for hope, that there must be a deep belief in us that mankind is naturally kind. And hope, actually, is the best motivator for action that I am aware of. Real hope, hope that faces the difficulties. The risk is blind hope. So therefore, dialogue is crucial. Because it's 2,500 years ago that Socrates invented dialogue as the best method to find out what's really true to not get deluded by illusions and ideas, and to deep digger to find out what is really at the core of the matters. So hope combined with dialogue actually is the chance we have to orient to solutions that really work, that work in a sustainable way. So our chance here and today, yesterday, is to practice dialogue. I imagine this 
hall as a kind of a sandbox, like a sandbox where kids play, where we can practice to dialogue in an open and interested and curious way. We all tend to fall in the trap of righteousness that we believe we know already, and the others should learn from us what we know. And dialogue doesn't work that way. Dialogue lives from curiosity and real interest. And if we are not able with each other to develop that spirit of open and kind interest in the perspective of the other, really to find out what's about what she is saying, then how should we approach the bigger dialogue that's essentially needed, the dialogue of that fractured globe of the global society, which seems to be in a process of fragmenting. And we are in a space which is nowadays often called a shrinking space. And certainly there is truth to that. If you compare Paris 2015 and Katowice 2018, we can get a felt sense of a shrinking space. So that's the truth. But the other truth is also that there is a lot of initiative going on all over the globe which can provide hope. And the Aurora Prize is sampling those, this potential and brings quite a bit of it here into this hall. And I find that really lovely and I'm happy that you are here and I wish us, wish us all a very good day. Thank you.